hi guys and welcome to my channel today's video i'm going to show you how to make this beautiful hair bonnet it's a multi-color hair bonnet you can use it to pack your hair to pack your braided wig or you can also use it as a stylish cap and go wherever you want to go i made it in such a way that you can you can use it in different styles like this or you know in different style which i'm going to show you how you can style it later now these are the rules that i'm going to be using and i'm going to use these four colors of yarn i'm going to be using black yellow red and green yarn or green wool for this tutorial you can use the color of your choice any color that you want for this these are what i'm going to use now for the base i'm going to use black yarn i want it to be black as the base so fold it like this then get your crochet tool and start doing it the way i'm doing it i'm going to make this video self-explanatory in case i'm not talking you'll be able to grab what i'm doing by just looking at what i'm doing you're able to understand what i'm doing so what i'm just doing is to crochet the round ring just to fill it up like closely fill it up closely for the next step so keep watching When doing this, I make sure that I am crocheting the round ring compatibly. I don't want any specks at all. So after this, I just move over to the second step by crocheting the second step. And in the second step, I'm doing it the exact way I did before. But in this one, what I did is to, in each hole, I'm crocheting two. I'm putting two there in each hole I put two. The reason why I'm doing this, the reason why I'm doing this is that I don't want it to start curving immediately. So I want it to be that flat. So keep washing. After crocheting the second step, this is how it should look like. It's going to look flat like this. Now I'm going to crochet the third step. And this third step, I'm going to start by giving chain. Because this is different from the second step. And after the chain, I'm giving three chains. After the chain, I'm also crocheting three crochets in each hole. If this is the first time of doing this crochet, this is where you need to pay attention. So what I said is, in this step, what I'm doing is to crochet three lines, a kind of three normal crochets in a particular hole, then give three chains, this is the chain, and space three sticks, then move over to the third one, third space, and crochet three normal crochets in that particular hole. So this is the normal crochet three normal crochet in that particular once you are done give three chains again and space three lines then crochet three normal crochet in that particular hole so this is what i'm going to be doing in this third step throughout this third step to so keep washing After this third step, the next step is to give the particular three chain again and in that hole that you are seeing, you are still going to give three normal crochets, three or four. 
this one is not left for you to determine the number of crochets you want to give in a particular hole but this method is about giving a particular chain then in that hole that you are seeing you put crochet then you crochet something inside that hole either three either four either five the bigger the number of crochets you put in a particular hole the wider your cap is going to look so my i'm putting three in that particular hole so i'm putting three in that particular hole crochet normal three chains then in each hole i'm still putting three so with time i'm going to determine whether i'm going to increase the number of crochet i'm putting in each hole so keep watching at this point i've added my second color and the cap is already covering which is normal so what i'm going to do is to continue the normal process the normal pattern of crochet that i'm doing and after this i'm going to be adding the third color which is green so i'm going to maintain this pattern like i said as i'm crocheting i'm going to be increasing the number of chain that i'm crocheting or the number of normal crochet that i'm doing and this is to make the cap wider as i'm crocheting once i reach where i'm going to add another color i'm going to be adding it the color that i'm using is green black yellow and red these are the main colors that i'm going to use and i'm going to use it for this pattern at the end i'm still going to repeat that color by doing some design that you need to see what i'm doing in terms of joining what i'm doing is once you have reached where you need to add just cut it add another one in terms of creating a knot or just tying it then use the scissors and trim it out then continue so in this place now i'm using yellow because i've already finished with the basic color that i need to add in this cap so and the place that i'm adding yellow what i'm doing is just to close up the chains i'm not really doing any chain again in this method i'm just closing up all the chains and after that in this particular method what i'm doing i've already closed up the chains so this method is now to give one chain and do this design is a kind of i'm doing a different design different from the first pattern so this is self-explanatory if you pay attention and keep watching This design that I'm creating, this is how it should look like from the back. This design you are going to see from the back. Once I'm done with this step, I'm going to be using my black crochet to run the top, and I'm going to use this elastic band to add as a kind of make the cap stretchy. Already I've crocheted round the first round with the black wool, so now I'm adding the elastic to kind of top it up. And this is how I'm doing it. Just put the elastic band, then start crocheting the normal way. I'm going to be crocheting this elastic band in a way that you're not going to see the elastic band. So if you are crocheting, just make sure that when you are crocheting it, the elastic band won't be showing after you have done. So in that case, you can crochet one in one hole, you can crochet two in one hole depending on how big the elastic band is in my case i'm crocheting one which is the normal way and sometimes if i notice that the hole is a kind of big i'm going to put two in that particular hole just to make the elastic band invisible so now that i'm done what i'm going to do is just to tight it just stretch it to 
the length or the size you want it to be then tight so secure it in a way that it will never lose out it can never lose out this possible after you have secured it you can use thread and needle to just you know secure it permanently once i'm done i'm going to cut out the excess elastic that remain and after that i'm going to use my crochet hook and my wool to cover up any place that i might be seeing the elastic just do the finish touching so yeah once i'm done i'm going to wrap it up by cutting out the excesses securing the wool with my crochet through and yeah i'm done i hope you found this video helpful if you found this video helpful give me a thumbs up and if you're yet subscribed subscribe to be part of this amazing family and for more amazing content this is how it looks like you can wear it anywhere you can wear it at home you can wear it outside thank you for staying bye